Hey guys, welcome back to Business Buzz, where we focus on entrepreneurship, business, and investing, and make sure to leave a like down below. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Yelp and four reasons why it is failing. So if you don't know what Yelp is, which you probably do, it basically keeps information on businesses for uh, customers to look at, like their addresses, phone books, and of course, reviews. Anytime you look up a restaurant or anything like that, you might see Yelp in their reviews and things pertaining to your location and different restaurants and things that you can do in that area. So guys, let's just get started. So number one, Yelp is just desperate. So yeah, Yelp is actually extremely desperate. If you search up a restaurant or any sort of business, you'll see about 10 to 13 Yelp ads before you see anything else. You know, top 10 best restaurants in whatever city you're looking at. And it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, studies are already showing that people are starting to block out ads. Almost 50% of people use ad blockers. They are just desperate to get everybody possible to click on their website and whatever they wanna show you. So Yelp is just very desperate for clicks and views and they wanna get you looking at their site. But honestly, it just doesn't work anymore. I mean, yeah, when you first see top 10 restaurants in your area, you wanna click on it, but a year later, you just kinda of get sick of it and you just start to tune it out. They're very desperate. Number two, Google is dominating Yelp. An important thing to keep in mind is that Google already has its own reviews built into its search engine. So when you look up reviews for a business, which again is what Yelp is mostly for, Google reviews are what shows up first and it's built in beautifully into the search engine and it has a great UI. It just looks fantastic and it just goes so smooth with the web page. and that's what people want to look at first. They don't want to scroll down and look at Yelp's reviews when they could just as easily or more easily, look at Google reviews. This is just a really bad thing for Yelp, the fact that it's already built into Google. And yeah, Yelp is gonna need even more ads to, uh, to compete with that. Number three, shady business practices. Something I found quite disturbing was the fact that Yelp is actually offering small businesses uh, to pay a fee to remove negative reviews off of their Yelp. This is absolutely dirty on Yelp's part. I mean, this this is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, so these consumers that are gonna be looking at these reviews aren't even getting honest reviews. So if you're a small business and your hamburgers suck and all your customers are buying the hamburgers and then giving bad reviews, well, you can just pay Yelp a small fee to get them removed and hey, now you're up to a four-star review again. That is absolutely shady. And once the word really starts getting out on this, I think people are really gonna turn their backs to Yelp and just obviously go straight to Google. Number four, zero incentive for business owners. So one of the ways that Yelp makes money, which you may not know of, is actually through businesses paying Yelp to uh, come up higher on the search engine. So if you go onto Yelp search engine on yelp.com and search up, let's say, a dentist near me, well, there may be uh, certain dentists who are paying um, to have their businesses get up there in the search book, search engine. However, here's the problem, and here's where that uh, is a problem for these businesses. Nobody's going to Yelp.com to search up businesses. People, just like the other problem, they go to Google. So these businesses don't really have much of an incentive anymore to be paying Yelp for this. And this is one of the ways Yelp makes money. So. Businesses are gonna stop doing this as they realize that people don't use Yelp.com to search for businesses, and Yelp's gonna start losing more money off this. One of the main ways that Yelp can improve, which has been suggested by many of their users, is by going open source, by allowing the community more so to have uh, more control over Yelp, and also getting rid of those shady business practices might help them a bit. Yelp's future doesn't look too bright, However, they who knows, they, maybe they make up a whole new way to start making money online. You know, who knows what can happen. So I appreciate you guys for watching this video from Business Buzz. I hope you found this interesting because I didn't know all this about Yelp. So make sure you hit that like button, comment down below any future videos you'd like to see, and definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button.